Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own no apps, fully raw, custom made uh, slider or what, you, what you're going to call it, you're going to call it testimonial or client review slider. Here's what it looks like. You can see it, it looks pretty simple, but what's going on here is there's actually three slides displayed at all times and it just gets rearranged based on the, the I guess, the, the button they click, right? So I, the most sliders they only show one image at a time, and sometimes clients, you know, just just get that premium feeling. They would they want to be able to show uh, multiple reviews, and it kind of entices the user to click more, right? So again, this is all done in just raw HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Uh, I'm gonna jump right into it and show you how. So. The general strategy I, I use for this kind of stuff when I want to do fully custom code is go over what others have done on CodePen or just CSS Tricks is a good website. Uh, and, and then you might just look at some other ideas that are similar to what your client wants, right? So obviously every client is different, but I'm looking at this CodePen for example. It has the same idea, it's, it's showing one slide and it's letting you peek at the other two. Right? So how can we adapt this into this? Right? So that's just the kind of the strategy that I would recommend you guys to, to use. And of course, I cannot find the original website where I actually sourced this from. It, it was, uh, <laughs> I, I can look at the raw code and see that the, 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 the JS for it was sourced from this, but, but some other code pen person um, did a bit more styling to this and then get it get it to work and and then I, I I fixed some bugs with it and then I got it to work the for for Shopify as well but I guess as a general sense you, you want to kind of look at what's out there in code pen or, or whatever JS fit all and then you can kind of see you know it's a structure to, to suit my needs right so so for example this one might look good but but it looks like there's three Three, what's going on here? It looks like there's three things here, okay? Uh, and, and then where are the divs being called, right? So, so first of all, there's a one picture here, and then there's another one here. And, and if you just look at it carefully, so, sometimes it's uh, it, it, it looks good on the surface, but it, it's not going to work in Shopify, right? Because in Shopify, remember, the customer usually, if you know, if the customer pays for it, Usually, they want the Shopify slider to be editable and uh, user friendly to, to, to edit. So, for example, my slider, you know, even though it, it looks simple, it has very easy to edit interface for the client, right? There's just three pictures, right? So, but then what happens when when uh, you you pick something here and, and they, they need you to have like six or seven pictures, right? So just keep in mind, you, you do have to like study and, and then read others code for a little bit. And uh, I, I've come across where it looks really good, but then the code just looks really confusing and it's, not, it's, it's hard to adapt into kind of like this format. Later on, you'll need to adapt into this format where it's very uh, customizable for the client. So again, just to recap, yeah, first we're going to look for uh, existing code pens that suit your needs. Second, just 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 re read the code pen a little bit. You know, it's it's usually just a, a lot of HTML uh, and usually some some JS. Some people don't like to use a lot of JS to do it, right? And for our particular tutorial, I'm going to show you is based on this framework here. It's all, all free. And I think it was based on this multi slides per view, right? Multi slides per view, and and not only are there multi slides, there's three slides at, at a time. There's multi quotes, right? So you click on this, get a new quote. Click on this, so like so like there's like two things happening at once. So yeah, I, I wish I could find the original cold pen for it, but the original one looked nothing like this. It was like a white background, the, the quotes were like different, and, and this effect was totally different. Uh, and it was square, but but generally, and then of course in cold pen, it's not reading the liquid, so it's gonna look like this, right? So generally, I what I did was I, I copied over the cold pen exactly as I would, 
right? Copied it, uh, I forked it basically, right? And it turns into this, right? Uh, you'll have to just ignore all the liquid code there. There's a lot of liquid code. This is just liquid coding wrapper, right? But in the beginning, obviously, this was in here, right? This is the liquid injection. This is taking the section title. Uh, this is writing the section title and things like that, right? Uh, but but the code you can see, and then you can see here 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 is where it's taking the 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 JSON settings, right? And then injecting it dynamically, right? And of course, there's there's always bugs as well. For example, the original cold pen. They had four sliders and it didn't work. It just didn't. It looked good, but it didn't work with four sliders. So the original one looked like this, and then if you go to the last one, it would be bugged. It wouldn't render correctly. It would throw off everything else, right? So I, I just hid the the fourth child element of that, just to make it just to make it work. And and the client only wanted three three uh, elements as well, so we we just made it work that way. And the the JS for this is again it's based on that whole library, right? So I didn't touch this. And, you know, I mean, I tried to look at it, but if if you usually if you look at a JS or jQuery library, uh, it's it, it's not going to be legible to the point where I think you can fix it. Uh, let's see, what what is this? I hear it's a four thousand lines of code, right? So what I did was I copied all of this, just copied right into my Shopify theme. Right. I didn't want to link it dynamically either, just because sometimes uh, Google Speed uh, Insights doesn't like that, or they just they just flag you for that. So I just but but I just basically copied it in here for now. Here, okay. So this is just a copy, Swiper 2.0, and you can see the author is there. The author is there, right? So full credits to the author, of course, for this demo. Right? Copied it, refer to it, right? And then I called it in the header file up here. Called it. It's here somewhere. It's here somewhere. Here's my CSS. It's here somewhere. Okay. So so I call this script in my footer. Actually, I think this is either my footer or header. One of these. No, this is my header. All right. Defer it. And yeah. So all the code was accessible to me. And of course the 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 section for it in Shopify. Always name it nicely. I always just name like a prefix so it arrives on top, so I can easily fix it, right? So what's going on here? Let, let's just go into the, this kind of a, a little bit in case you want to kind of understand what I did here. I, I wrapped it in a full width container. This is just the default container that comes with a theme, so I just use the default class. I also have my own custom class, meaning I just want this class to hide anything that's on mobile view. Because it's not going to look good in mobile, and the client didn't really care about mobile anyway, so it just hides in mobile. You see, and then we keep going. the The rest of this is more or less based on based on the code pen. Copy over, right? And then and then it's based on the JSON here. So I'm copying over the title. The rest of this is just using the container that I already got. So this this has to be customized, right? So this is calling the image, right? From down here in the JSON sections, right? This is copying the second image, third image. What's nice about this uh, this piece of code that the original developer did here? There's only three images I need to call. I, I don't need to call like duplicate images uh, or or some weird stuff like that. Uh, they they didn't do do any kind of like unoptimized coding for that. So that was really nice, right? As for the quotes, um, as for the quotation, we, we just got pulled it off of here, right? And then you see the review one, review one name, review one role. So what that is, is here. So this is review one. Sorry, this is, this is review one, review one name, review one role. And then of course here's a schema that you know had to do it very carefully. And sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes the schema like it, like the Shopify will, will will block the schema from saving, even if the syntax is uh, correct. 
and, and I found that to be a funny little bug, but it's not really a bug because sometimes you have to delete stuff on here and then delete stuff on here for it to save correctly. So just, just to let you know. Okay, but you can see the schema is pretty straightforward. You've got the heading and then we use the image picker types. So this is an image picker, right? And then the rest is just simple text. Text, 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 text. And of course, for, for the CSS, uh, we, we, we gave everything a class, so we can just use CSS to edit it easily. So what was the class for this? Uh, swiper slide, the class for was U3, and I think we were just able to use the, the theme's default class for this. Um, as far as any other special considerations, uh, you know, other than this and other than, you know, basic CSS edits to get the background to, to, to get this working, that, that takes a lot of time. Um, but I think the general strategy here worked very well for me and I was able to get this done fairly quickly in about a whole afternoon and then, and then getting, getting the schema correct, getting this part correct. Uh, I took another afternoon. So, yeah, sorry, this is not a line by line tutorial, but this is overall uh, a general strategy where you can, you know, get your own fully custom uh, elements here, you know, without paying an app and, you know, having a little fun writing your own code from scratch. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know if there's any questions. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.